we're back to the individual muscles. So we're back to the PowerPoint. Okay, so the muscles you're going to have to know. Pectoralis major. Uh, we're going to focus on the muscles of the uh, thigh and calf. And those will be asked in uh, web assign. So it's your job to uh, look at these different muscles. So the interior view, you'll be responsible for the rectus femoris, the vastus lateralis, the adductor longus, the sartorius, the vastus medialis, the gastrocnemius, and there may be questions on the uh, the gastrocnemius, right? I said that, uh, the pectoralis major. So we're going to focus on the thigh and the lower leg. Uh, this is the view. This is the view of the a thigh, again, you'll be responsible for the sartorius, gracilis, semimembranous, semitendinosus, and the biceps femoris, and the gastrocnemius. So muscles where they attach is the origin. Uh, where they attach to the point of movement and the action of the muscle due to the attachment at the origin and the attachment at the insertion are going to cause various types of movement. Okay. So the prime mover is called the agonist. An antagonist opposes muscle, the synergist, muscles that work together. So the biceps is an example of an agonist, and the triceps is an example of an antagonist. Okay. The muscles that stabilize the limbs and move the limbs are called appendicular musculature. Uh, the muscles with origins on the axial skeleton uh, move the head, spine, and rib cage. Okay, we're not worried about this. Uh, we may have a question on the frontalis, the orbicularis oris, uh, the temporalis. So just make sure you identify. Uh, and study and finish your web assigns, and that will be the uh, primarily the frontalis and the orbicular laris oris will be in lab. Uh, we may mention the sternocleidomastoid and the platysma. Okay, so your job is to see what's available on web assign and go through these images. And so we'll go ahead and stop there. So use this as a guide. Let's go back to stop recording, stop recording.